everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a very quick and easy uh, DIY for winter because Christmas is almost over and so I wanted to show you something that you can do in a few minutes. Um, you know my daughter and I are dumpster divers so we find a lot of things in the dumpsters and this is one of the things we found a while ago. Is one of the last things we found at Pier 1 Imports before they close forever, which is really sad. This is the original color of the frame. Too gold for my taste, especially because I'm going to do something for winter. It would be great for Christmas, but for winter I wanted something like snowy. So what I did, I took a mm, brush, a sponge brush, with a little bit of paint and I painted it like so and then I removed the excess with I, I have this old washcloth that I use that I'm not using <laughs> as washcloths anymore so I use them for my crafts and I started uh, removing the excess so I only got the white paint in between these hexagons <laughs> so it has a little bit of white and it's not so bright so this is what I did with the frame that's it, the, the glass was broken I couldn't find the glass I went with the frame to a lot of stores that sell fra uh, frames, even of course the first one was Dollar Tree. The f size of the picture is the is a standard, but the size of the frame is not standard, so I couldn't find a frame, uh, a glass. But what I'm going to do doesn't require glass, so we are fine. I had this uh, snowflake that is also from a dumpster from Michaels. I painted it white with just acrylic paint, regular, regular acrylic paint, and I placed this ribbon here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the background of the frame, the original one. As you can see, it has some decoloration, but it's going to be uh, covered with the you know, snowflake. I love the, the effect of snow that you get when you just take a white marker and do some dots. You see? I love that effect. And I love the, this kind of, kind of snowflakes. So, I watch, I look for a hello winter phrase and um, words on Google and I looked at my computer and I copied them to the size I needed and then using white transfer paper I transfer it on the black background. I always insist that if you can invest in white transfer paper it's the best thing to do when you're transferring on a black surface because you get what you want to transfer already in white so you only have to then use a marker or a brush and go inside the, and the letters and the borders and as you can see well this is <laughs> really very I have used this bit of paper a lot transfer paper but you can see that you get a white let me try here. <laughs> like so. You see? You get the words in white, which helps a lot at the moment when you have to paint them. I use this marker. It's my favorite one. I'm not... I have no relation with <laughs> the... the manufacturer and not um, sponsored by them. I simply love them. I have this one which is broad point and I have the fine point one 
and you can see it works awesomely. So that's what I did in this case. And now I'm going to glue the snowflake on top of this. But please, first, sorry, I have to insert this background inside the frame. Of course it's going to be a little bit loose because uh, this space has the room for the glass and I don't have a glass. But it doesn't matter. It looks more like a shadow box. So I'm going to lock it. And now I'm going to glue this. I made a mark here. I know I want it to be this tip to be here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some hot glue here, here, and here, and all those tips of the snowflake. And a little bit up. I think that's exactly where I want it to be. Let it dry for a, for a moment. And then, uh oh, I wasn't careful enough with the ribbon and it's not in the position it should be. But no problem. Now I'm going to glue the ribbon to the back of the frame. Again with hot glue. My beloved hot glue. What would be of my life without hot glue? I wouldn't be a crafter. <laughs> so we are almost done. Let's glue this here. If you go to Dollar Tree and you find this tool, this is to spread a foundation on your face. It's great when you have to glue something with hot glue and you don't want to burn your fingers. You just use this. You can spread the glue and press and keep everything in place. I love it. I saw it, I think two or three other crafters were using this one and I went to Dollar Tree. The first chance I had, I went to Dollar Tree and I was lucky enough to find it because, you know, sometimes you don't find things at all Dollar Trees. But believe me, the one who found out that you could use this for uh, uh, hot glue, sorry, is genius. Is a genius. So now you have the finished product and as you can see it's simple. It's easy and it's really, really wintry and we are ready to welcome winter in a couple of days. Well, it would be winter when you watch this <laughs> video. Uh, this is my last DIY before Christmas, so I really, really want to thank you for supporting me this year, for watching my videos and wish you a very, very, very happy holidays. Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Have a peaceful season, whatever it is that you celebrate. And even if you don't celebrate, I hope you will finish your year in the best way possible, especially this year. <laughs> and um, I really send you all my love and all my gratitude. Hope you will give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done it already and ring the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks again and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.